Operations on multiple random variables. We have already seen operations on single random variable. The same concepts are here extended to multiple random variables. Okay. The first operation is expected value of function of a random variables expected value of function of random variables why it is expected value of function of a random variables because these are the operations on multiple random variables that is the reason okay so now if g of x comma y is a function of random variables x and y means here we are seeing the operations on two random variables we can extend it to n number of random variables ok so now then the expectation of function of the random variables e of g of x comma y is equal to yes it is represented by expectation of anything is nothing but their mean. So, it is represented by g bar. G bar. And the equation is integral minus infinity to infinite. Integral minus infinity to infinite. Simply you have to substitute the function here. Okay. And then fxy of x comma y dx dy. Okay. If that is for single random variable, simply you substitute here x and this will be fx of x dx and the integration will be 1. But as the random variables are 2, you have to go for double time integration and substitute the given function and you have to take joint density function fx y of x comma y dx dy. Okay. This is the expected value of the function of two random variables. Suppose if you want to extend the same to the n random variables. What will happen? Suppose for n random variables, g bar that is e of g of x1, comma x2, etc. xn is equal to integral minus infinity to infinite. Integral minus infinity to infinite for these two random variables. So on. Integral minus infinity to infinite for this n. And g of x1, comma x2, etc. xn into f x1, x2, etc. xn of x1, comma x2, so on xn dx1 dx2 so on dxn this is the expected value of function of n random variables all these are your x1 x2 etc xn or n random variables ok next operation is join moments I explain the significance of expected value, movements, etc. in the concept of operations on random variables. Please watch that video once. Why it is joint movement? Because it is the movements for multiple random variables. And here we are restricting first for two random variables. Hence these movements are called joint. When we say join that exists more than one random variable. So, first type of join moments, join moments about origin 
and second join movements about mean join movements about mean or central movements or central movements okay so now we will see join movements about origin first so join movements about origin join moments about origin is yes, the definition of join moments is join moment about origin for two random variables for two random variables x and y is expected value of the function expected value of the function where g of x comma y is what is g of x comma y g of x comma y is nothing but x power n y power k okay so join moments about origin is the expectation of the function of two random variables g of x comma y where g of x comma y is equal to x power n into y power k okay so what is now e of g of x comma y is nothing but expectation of x power n y power k okay so what is its formula simply yes i'll write here e of x power n y power k is equal to it is the joint moments about origin now it represents these moments with the letter m n k with m n k what is the formula here simply as the variables are 2 integral minus infinity to infinite integral minus infinity to infinite x power n y power k f x y of x comma y dx dy ok so this is the joint moments about origin I will get various moments by varying n and k where n and k are n and k are positive integers n and k are positive integers n plus k is called order order of the moments n plus k is called order of the moments now we will see different uh, cases for this different cases if k equal to 0 yes then if k equal to 0, yes, this becomes mn 0. What is mn 0? In the place of k, keep 0 here, y power 0, 1. So, it will be e of x power n. What is this? Or the moments of, moments of x. Okay. And, if n is equal to 0, I will get 0k, m0k. What is this? Expectation of y power k. y power k. And these are called moments of y. We will see first order moments. First order moments. Okay, what is actually order? Order is n plus k. First order means n plus k is equal to 1. Means either n is equal to 0 and k equal to 1 or n is equal to 1 and k equal to 0. These are the cases. Okay, so now, yes, now first take m1 0 m1 0 s yes, means n is 1 and k is 0 what is m1 0 yes n is 1 k is 0 so simply i'll get e of x okay n is 1 k is 0 e of x 
What is e of x? e of x is x bar. Okay. Simply you substitute here. So, you will get integral minus infinite to infinite. Integral minus infinite to infinite. Y power 0 is 1. X power 1. So, it is x into f x y of x comma y dx dy. Okay. In the same way, m01 that is e of y that is y bar that is equal to integral minus infinity to infinite integral minus infinity to infinite y into fxy of x comma y dx dy. Okay. So, these are first order moments. Okay. Now, now I will see the second order moments. Second order moments means n plus k is equal to 2. Implies first case is n is 2, k is 0. n is 0, k is 2. Or n is 1, k is 1. These are the cases. Okay. Now see m2 0. Yes, keep here. So, you will get e of x square. And it will minus infinity to infinity. It will minus infinity to infinite. x square. f x y of x comma y dx dy. Same way. m0 2. e of y square. And it will minus infinity to infinite. Integral minus infinity to infinite. Y square. F x y of. X comma y. Dx dy. And the last one is. M 1 1. Because n is equal to 1. And k equal to 1. So what is this? It is nothing but. E x y. What is the formula again? Again it is. Integral minus infinity to infinite. Integral minus infinity to infinite. X y f x y of x comma y dx dy. Okay. So, these are all the second order moments. Now, in these second order moments, we have a specific, uh, we have an important uh, term called correlation. Correlation. What is meant by correlation here? The second order joint moment M11. The second order joint moment M11 is called correlation. Correlation. And that is represented by Rxy. Rxy. So, what is Rxy? Rxy is equal to M11. That is E of Xy. What is the formula? Integral minus infinity to infinite. Integral minus infinity to infinite. X, Y. F, X, Y of X comma Y dx dy. Okay. So, this is the formula of uh, correlation. Now, we will see two properties, main properties of correlation. Properties of correlation. Okay. What is the first property if the two random variables x and y, if x and y are statistically, statistically independent, statistically independent, then x and y are said to be uncorrelated such to be uncorrelated that is rxy is actually e of xy ok if statistically independent then x and y are said to be uncorrelated what is this uncorrelated meaning e of x comma y is equal to e of x into e of y this is the meaning of uncorrelatedness. 
Okay. Let us have a proof for it. Let us see the proof. If x and y are statistically independent, then your join density function fxy of x comma y can be written as fx of x into fy of y. Therefore, your rxy, the correlation rxy, that is e of xy is equal to, what is the actual formula? Integral minus infinity to infinite, integral minus infinity to infinite, xy, fxy of x comma y dx dy. So, now in the place of fxy of x comma y, you substitute fx of x into fy of y and then dx dy. So, now you can separate integral minus infinity to infinite, separate like x into fx of x dx and integral minus infinity to infinite y into fy of y dy. So, what is this? e of x and what is this? e of y. Okay. Therefore, e of xy is equal to e of x into e of y which is nothing but the condition for uncorrelatedness. The second property, if x and y are orthogonal, then the correlation rxy is equal to 0. What is the proof? If x and y are orthogonal, orthogonal means you are simply taking, if one variable exists, other won't exist. That is simply, in the case of random variables, we can take orthogonal as that one. Means here, if x and y are orthogonal, their joint occurrence, that is the joint density function is 0. Means there is no joint occurrence for the random variables x and y. So now, if fxy of x comma y is equal to 0, then take this rxy, that is e of xy, integral minus infinity to infinite, integral minus infinity to infinite, xy into 0 dx dy, it becomes 0. Okay? So, that is the proof for the second property. Totally, in the concept of joint moments about origin, okay, we have seen the expression, we have seen the expression and what happens if k equal to 0 and n equal to 0 becomes the moments of x and y, first order moments, second order moments and a specific term called correlation and the properties of correlation. Now we will see the second type of moments, joint moments about mean or Joint central moments. Joint moments about mean or joint central moments. Okay. Now, I will define the joint moments about mean. Consider the random variables x and y. Okay. Then, the expected value of the function g of x comma y that is equal to x minus x bar whole power n, y minus y bar whole power k are called joint central moments. Means, joint central moments means E of G of x comma y. That is E of x minus x bar whole power n into y minus y bar whole power k. The expression is integral minus infinity to infinite. Integral minus infinity to infinite. Yes, 
x minus x bar whole power n into y minus y bar whole power k fx y of x comma y dx dy. Okay, so this is your expression for joint uh, central moments. Here also n and k are positive integers and n plus k is called order of the moments order of the moments now here also we have to see various order various moments first i'll see let's see zero at order moment another important point is this is represented by like in the previous joint moments about origin the moments are represented by m and k here the moments are represented by mu n k mu n k the moments are represented by mu n k so now the zeroth order means n is equal to 0 and k equal to 0 means you'll get mu 0 0 what is mu 0 0? Simply you substitute e of x minus x bar whole power 0, y minus y bar whole power 0. So, you will get e of 1 which is nothing but 1. So, the 0th order of the central moments is 1. Okay. Now, if you see first order moments. I will get first order means either n is equal to 1 and k equal to 0 or n is equal to 0 and k equal to 1. So, first first order moment mu 1 0 is simply n is 1 k is 0 it will be x minus x bar whole power 1 means e of x minus x bar because y minus y bar whole power k is y minus y bar whole power 0 which is 1 so it becomes e of x minus x bar what is e of x minus x bar actually yes yes you can uh, apply you can you can write like this e of x minus e of x bar e of x is x bar e of x bar is x bar because expectation of uh, constant is constant x bar is constant so expectation of x bar is x bar so it is 0 same way mu 0 1 that is expectation of y minus y bar that is e of y minus e of y bar so again it is y bar minus y bar that is 0 means the first order moments are 0 now I will see the second order moments. Second order moments. Yes. What are the cases? N equal to 2 and K equal to 0. Or N is equal to 0 and K is equal to 2. Or N is equal to 1 and K equal to 1. What is? Mu to 0. Same. Expectation of? x minus x bar now it is whole square because n is 2 k is 0 the other term y minus y bar whole power 0 becomes 1 okay so it's nothing but sigma x square okay and mu 0 2 is e of y minus y bar whole square that is sigma y square what are this these are called joint joint variances of x and y then the other second order moment mu 1 1 is nothing but e of x minus x bar into y minus y bar that is nothing but sigma x y what is the sigma x y sigma x y is called sigma x y is called covariance so now we have to define like a correlation in the joint uh, moments about origin. Here we have to see about covariance. What is covariance? 
the second order joint central moment the second order joint central moment mu 1 1 is called ns and that is represented by sigma xy or you can represent it with cxy and the formula is e of x minus x bar into y minus y bar that is equal to integral minus infinity to infinite integral minus infinity to infinite x minus x bar into y minus y bar fx y of x comma y dx dy okay so this is covariance and here also we have properties of covariance first property the covariance of two random variables is given by cxy is equal to rxy minus x bar y bar okay so we'll prove this uh, equation let us consider your cxy what is cxy here e of x minus x bar into y minus y bar simply you multiply xy minus xy bar minus x bar y plus x bar y bar so simply apply expectation on every term individually e of xy minus e of xy bar minus e of x bar y plus e of x bar y bar so here it is e of xy minus s yes, y bar is constant y bar into e of x is nothing but y bar x bar minus here x bar is constant x bar into e of y so x bar y bar plus both are constant so constant expectation of a constant is constant is nothing but x bar y bar so yes these two will get cancelled so it will be e of x y minus x bar y bar is nothing but your cxy implies cxy is equal to e of xy is nothing but uh, your equation rxy minus x bar y bar so hence proved and the second property if x and y are independent independent the covariance cxy is equal to 0 what is the proof yes if x and y are independent we can write for the independent case we can write rxy or e of xy is equal to e of x into e of y we already proved and the properties of a correlation so it implies just take this formula cxy is equal to in the place of rxy you write e of x e of y minus x bar y bar what is e of x x bar what is e of y y bar x bar y bar minus x bar y bar that is equal to 0 hence proved okay so totally in the case of joint moments about mean yes we have seen the expression of mu n k this is the expression it is the expectation of x minus x bar whole power n into y minus y bar whole power k yes the zeroth order central moment we got as 1 and the first order central moments are mu 1 0 and mu 0 1 which are 0 and the second order central moments are nothing but your joint variances of x and y and mu 1 1 is nothing but your covariance and the covariance properties are these two and we proved those properties also thank you for watching this video If you like this video please don't forget to like share and subscribe